Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and today we're going to compare three of the most popular off-road heavy-duty scooters that we carry. These are all four-wheel scooters. They are considered heavy-duty and off-road capable, some more than others. And we're going to compare all the specs, talk about why we like one versus the other between all three of these. Starting with all the way to the left, you may be familiar with the Afikim Afi Scooter S4. This is fully decked out and this mobility scooter is going to be number one on the list because it is so customizable. Not only that, it can keep up with the best of them in terms of what they can do off-road, especially with the off-road tire package. Dun, dun, dun. If you look at the back, you can see that this thing has some big off-road tires in the back, which we're currently offering a promotion for right now. So if you are interested in the Afis Scooter S4, we will throw in a pair of golf-sized tires as an upgrade for a limited time only if you ask about it and just go ahead and call our non-commissioned sales team. I do want to also say before we go any further, if you want a copy of our free product catalog, go to our website, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog, fill out the simple short form and one will be in the mail and on its way to you within one to two weeks tops. Also want us to say that we are giving away a free mobility scooter every six months. It's real. It's legit, it's a giveaway. We give you a scooter. All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel. Since you're here already, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You might win a mobility scooter like this person did in our latest giveaway. So again, all you need to do is subscribe and I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. So let's get started, continue on. The Afikim Afi Scooter S4 with the golf tires the upgraded dual wide seat for two people. We're gonna show you here a couple of things too. I'm gonna to come in from the other side. So this is an upgrade option. It's for two people. This is an upgrade option. It's a weather canopy. We also have rain sides. So if it's raining and you wanna go on a ride and stay completely dry, it doesn't even matter if it's raining sideways, you'll still stay dry with the rain sides option. And we're gonna throw up a little clip on the screen for you to check that out too. Um, this scooter in particular does not have the motor upgrade package. It goes about nine and a half, 10 miles per hour with the standard motor, but you can upgrade it to get up to 12 and a half miles per hour with the upgraded motor package. Not only that, it can hold up to 600 pounds with the upgraded suspension or 500 pounds with the standard suspension, no upgrade required. These extra large tires make this thing fully capable of virtually going over any terrain. We have tons of videos on our YouTube channel, not only showing you its capabilities off-road, but in unique environments, the beach, going shopping. There's a compact size and the standard size. This is the standard, hence the model name S4. You can also get it in a three wheel, which would be the S3. And you can get it in the compact version, which is the Afi Scooter C model. You have the C3 and the C4. So in terms of the most amount of custom options, the most customizable, the best in terms of dependability. This thing comes with a three-year in-home service agreement, best service contract in the industry, and it comes with an excellent warranty for all the parts as well. So hands down, this is gonna be number one on the list overall for an off-road mobility scooter. If you have any questions, call our non-commissioned sales line with the phone number below on the screen anytime and they'll be ha happy to answer any questions that you have. All right, now I'm just gonna go over the, the manufacturer specs, which you can see on our website. You can download a brochure, but the manufacturer specs for this product with the standard options are gonna be 500 pound weight capacity. The weight of the product with the stock options is about 342 pounds. Obviously with this and this upgrade option, it's gonna weigh more than that. Um, and it has a maximum speed of up to 10 miles per hour with the standard motor or 13 miles per hour with the up motor upgrade. The travel range standard is 28 up to 35 miles with the standard options. And it comes with an 8 amp XLR offboard charger as well. Has a 90 inch turning radius, a five inch ground clearance. The overall length is 65 inches and the overall width is 27 inches. But with the golf size tires, it's 35 inches. So again, it's not gonna fit through most doorways with the upgrade option. This is gonna be mainly for outdoor use if you get those big tires. According to the manufacturer, it has up to a 12 degree incline rating. The seat to ground height is 26 inches. The standard seat option is 18 inches wide by 18 inches deep, but you have several seat options on this model. Check out our website to see them all. 
The standard tire package is going to have 13 inches on the 13 inch tires on the front and 16 inch tires on the back, which are air inflatable and nice thick threading on there. So the tiller on this bad boy is pretty awesome. It has dual USB charging ports for cell phones and other electronics that are USB powered. On the left, you have the horn button, the turn signals, the light switch, and an, ass an assistive brake here that you can use to either put the parking brake on or just assist the automatic braking system when you're going high speeds. On the right, you have a throttle lever, and here you have the forward and reverse switch half speed, full speed switch, and another horn button. You can use this to bring the tiller assembly closer to you or further away from you. You have the little screw holes here for mirrors, cell phone holders, or other accessories, and a full digital dash with a battery meter, odometer, it tells you the speed, the time, etc. Pretty nice, also, it has two cup holders built in. So if you get the dual wide seat, both you and your passenger can carry their drinks comfortably hands. So on the front, we do have a little storage bin that is lockable. And if you order through Mobility Direct, we'll even include a rear locking storage tote, which is pretty large and applicable for most of the seat options. Not all of them. If you get this weather cover, it won't fit. But it's pretty comfortable. It does have automatic brakes and a fully digital dash, nice lighting kit on the front. This is an optional upgrade kit that requires a custom installation. Uh, but overall, this is our favorite and most popular off-road scooter by far for many years. This is a brand new model by Pride Mobility known as the Baja Wrangler 2.0. It's an amazing scooter. I mean, just look at it. The suspension on this thing is pretty impressive. I will say that it gives the Afikim S4 a run for its money in terms of its off-road capabilities. But I'll be honest with you, if you need something that's mainly just for extreme off-road conditions, this is gonna handle a little bit better. It does have adaptive steering controls and degenerative braking, um, big tires on the front, big tires on the back, huge extra large frame on it with a limited lifetime warranty, double padded captain seat, it's more comfortable to ride this in extreme off-road conditions. The downside is you don't really have the option for a weather canopy. So if you're in a hot state like Florida or Texas or somewhere where it gets really hot, that weather canopy is a game changer. The Wrangler doesn't have really nearly as many upgrade options. You get the option to choose the seat, a little bit wider on the standard seat, um, but short of that, there's really not many custom options available for it. It does have all the same features in terms of being able to adjust the tiller assembly back and forth. You can do that with the S model as well. But standard, this mobility scooter is about just shy of 33 inches wide from the widest points. The Afikim S4 without the tire upgrade package and the standard seating options is narrow enough to fit through most doorways. So if you need something that's versatile, that can take you outdoors and be small enough to fit in through most doors, the Afi scooter would probably be the best option for you. If you live out on a farm and you do some off-roading and you wanna keep up with people that have ATVs or four-wheelers, but you want something that's electric, this competes with an ATV. I've seen it. It has an amazing incline ability. It's rated for 10 degrees, but we've, we have a lot of videos that kind of show that it can handle more. Probably don't want to be doing that consistently, but it does have tons of power. Uh, it does have twin two motors, whereas the Afikim has a 1400 watt motor, single motor. They're both really powerful and can keep up with each other. We're going to do some incline tests here in a second, but as far as the specs go, two different setups, twin motor, single motor. It does have a little bit more of an ability to climb extreme terrain, and we're going to show you all that in the video. Uh, but it's a really impressive looking scooter. It just looks awesome. So if you want something that looks super cool and that can keep up with the S4, I gotta say, this might be something you'd consider and, and like even more. Both have automatic brakes with supplementary manual brakes to lock in if you need to. And full digital dash, best horn in class. Hands down, best horn on any mobility scooter. I won't even honk the horns on these other two because it's embarrassing. So if you're looking for the best horn, this is the winner every day. One other thing, um, the weight capacity of the Wrangler 2 is 350 pounds. So 
If you need something that can hold 500 pound stock, that's the winner, even up to 600 pounds if you upgrade it. This can cap out at 350. So aside from that, um, the seat does rotate, but it doesn't. It does slide forward, but it does not recline all the way. Just a slight recline. Flip up armrests. All right, so just to recap the specifications for this product, according to the manufacturer, is a 350 pound weight capacity. Product weighs about 370 pounds, fully assembled. Maximum speed of 11 miles per hour, up to 11.4 miles per hour if the load is at 200 pounds. Travel range with the standard batteries, 22.6 miles. You can upgrade and get up to 29.4 miles. It has, again, twin 7.7 .7 horsepower motors, and it has 75 amp hour batteries, two of them, 12 volts. You can upgrade to 100 amp hour batteries, though. It does have an off-board XLR charger, which is eight amps rated for 24 volts. The turning radius is 94.75 inches. The ground clearance, 8.25 inches, which is why you can see from the off-road testing we've done, it handles the best. It can go over some huge logs. Check out our YouTube videos for this product. You won't be disappointed. The overall length is 61.25 inches. Overall width is 32.5 inches. And the overall height without the headrest is 44 inches or 56 inches to the top of the headrest. It has an incline rating according to the manufacturer of 10 degrees, but I would say it's closer to 15 without breaking a sweat. The seat to ground height is 29 inches all the way up to 30.5. And the seat option, uh, the standard is 18.5 inches by 16 inches deep. The tire package is gonna have two 14.5 inch tubeless pneumatic tires and it does have a variable speed mode, control on increments of speed on the dash here so you can fine tune the speed. You have the option to go up and down with the tortoise and the hare to increase the speed and you also have fast mode uh, as well as low mode, high and low. You have also the trip odometer, the temperature, the time. So it's got tons of options. USB charging port on it, as well as on the Africam, you actually have two USB charging ports on the Africam, but none on the E-Wheels. Now, one other thing that's pretty unique about the Wrangler too is it has the rear backup sensor. So if you get close to stuff, it starts beeping, and we're gonna show you a little demo of that really quick. The Africam scooter does all that too if you get the standard seat, but with the dual wide seat that you see here, you're limited. You can only really fold the seat down. You do have armrests that go on each side if you want to install them, and they are with adjustable flip up as well. Now, on this product, the armrests are also flip up with adjustable, height adjustable, but you get the padded seat, which is really comfy, and it has lumbar adjustment that slides up and down, or I'm sorry, that inflates and deflates a little bit. Now, before we move on to the e-wheel scooter, which we'll get into last, I do want to say that both of these scooters have really big sealed lead acid batteries as the standard option, but at Mobility Direct, we're the only company to offer a lithium battery upgrade, which will not void your warranty for the Africam, and we're working on trying to get that done for you for the Pride Mobility scooters. So hopefully we can get there with Pride. We're in communication with them about it and we're looking to do that but in the meantime we are offering lithium battery upgrades it will not void the warranty on the Africam scooter and we do offer lithium battery conversion kits for almost every mobility scooter out there it will work but we don't want it to void your warranty so call us if you're interested about our lithium battery kits ask for our parts department they'd love to answer any questions you have about our lithium battery kits moving along we have the e-wheels EW46. This is a pretty scooter with tons of color options. It's very popular. By demand, it made this list. It's just so popular, we get so many calls for it that we figured, okay, well, let's dive into it and find out why. And we've made some pretty awesome videos on our YouTube channel for this model and every model, including unboxing and assembly videos, ride along FPV videos, and much more. Has lots of storage space on the tiller here, cup holder built in, little purse hanger, little cubby. This is the only one with an alarm system. So 
That's gonna make one unique thing about it that I would say is gonna make this scooter a winner. So if you hit the lock button, and then if I push it, like if let's say I'm someone trying to steal your scooter and I go to move it, the alarm goes off. It also has remote start. So you can just click the button here twice and it's on, ready to go, which is another unique feature about it. So the handbrake is engaged right now because we're on a little bit of a slope. So it does have manual brakes. It has an automatic brake option, but it's an upgrade. Standard, when you order it, it does not have automatic brakes. So as you can see, it's rolling down the hill right now. If I lock in the manual brake, it's, it's not gonna go anywhere. So it has that feature going for it. Uh, it also is the scooter with the highest speed. This mobility scooter can travel up to, it's rated for 13 miles per hour, but depending on the weight and load, that could vary a little bit. The Wrangler does about 10 and a half miles per hour. The S does about nine and a half, but again, you can upgrade the motor and get it to about 12 and a half. So all in all, Speed-wise, they're all pretty similar, but this is gonna be a little bit slower because it has huge tires, much wider than any of the other two models here, and it's just gonna perform better and have the torque necessary to handle rugged, rugged terrain. This is gonna be the ideal street cruiser. So if you're on flat pavement all the time, you need to get long distances, this is gonna have the range. It's currently rated for up to 35 miles. It has four 12-volt batteries. It runs off of a 48-volt system and it is gonna get you places with high speeds and a huge or, and a very good travel range. So if you're looking to travel long distances on flat pavements, this is great. I can't recommend it for off-road. It's not the best option. It's a little uncomfortable and hard to steer when you're going off-road nonstop. So if you're gonna be off-road, I'd stick with one of these two options. If you're gonna be primarily off-road, I'd stick with the Wrangler 2. And if you're gonna be on off-road half the time, street half the time, and you really want something with a great warranty that's really dependable with a canopy, the S4 is gonna be probably the best bet most of the time. The EW is great for the price point. It's the most affordable. Um, and it has pretty much all the same features, the suspension, the lights, the mirrors, the captain seat. The captain seat doesn't rotate, it slides forward a bit, and it does have a better recline than the rest of them. So the seat here has its options. It does have the flip up ability and a built-in storage crate in the back that kind of secures itself shut with a little lip, a little clip here that's built into the basket. All of the seats have headrests that are adjustable. So in terms of the seat, they're all, they're all pretty comfortable. But I would say the Africam has the most seat options the Wrangler 2 has the most comfortable stock option. And the E-Wheel seat is, it's okay, it, it's not bad. It's not uncomfortable, but it just doesn't strike me as being number one or number two on the list. So that being said, I will sum it up by saying again, most economical, uh, usually the fastest and most readily available in stock, ready to ship. If you don't have any custom options, there's nothing to customize so they can get it out the door pretty quick. and. For long distance trips on flat pavements, it gives you the speed and the range that you're looking for without really breaking the bank too much. The weight capacity on this model is 400 pounds. The total weight of this product is 260 pounds. Maximum speed is again 13 miles per hour. Total travel range, 35 miles. It has a 500 watt brushless motor. Again, not ideal for off-road or grass riding. It has a 73 inch turning radius, a ground clearance of four and a half inches. Overall length is 63 inches. The overall width is 28 inches. Overall height is 42 inches. It has a 12 degree incline rating. The seat option standard is 18 inches wide by 18 inches deep. And it has 16 inch wheels on the front and the back that are pneumatic air inflatable with a twist throttle action, uh, not, uh, throttle system. So the throttle system is a little bit different compared to the others. You have a twist throttle with a switch that has forward and reverse as the options to choose from and then speed mode one, two, and three. You do have a decent horn, not as good as the Wrangler, digital dash that tells you all the important stuff. Two mirrors included. It does also have storage under the seat, plenty of storage under there, and with the basket it does give you a lot of storage. 
If you are interested in any of these mobility scooters, feel free to give us a call or visit our website. Tax-free, free shipping, and most important, the best service in town. Again, that website is mobilitydirect.com. I'm Sergio, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says free catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just wanna take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comment section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments or suggestions for a new video topic, we love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.